Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Warhammer uh, 40,000 Fire Warrior. We are using a custom resolution of 2560 by 1440p native, 16 times the NASA traffic filtering, mid mapping is on automatic, full direct 3D. We are using 4 times MSAA at 4 times MSAA. At least for this game, it can range between 800 megabytes to 1.4-ish gigabytes of video RAM. So it fluctuates a lot at 1440p. Now, if you go up to 8 or 16 times, that's when it's very dangerous and you may bottleneck your VRAM at least at 4 gigabytes. I bottleneck at 8 and 16 times MSAA, so I do not recommend MSAA at all. I would recommend super sampling this game instead. We are using texture filtering of display in FXAA shader. We are also using bilinear, oops, bilinear forced. You can use bilinear PS2, but all the HUDs that I've seen remain blocky and the HUDs are really, really big. So it kind of looks a bit jarring to look. That's all, you can see the individual pixels in the HUD, uh, very, very big ones. So it looks a bit unattractive in my opinion. So I thought I'd just force it. I am also using Bub TFF. If you're using Bub TFF, this is the clearest interlacing mode for this game. If you're using automatic, which or auto, which is what I normally use for all my games, um, normally that's the clearest. But Bub TFF is the clearest on this game. Uh, Direct 3D 11 hardware as well. And yes, let's go to the next section. Now I am using MTVU. Now I do have to mention this really quickly. This game runs really really poorly I will explain it very shortly but I am using MTVU if you have more than three cores I have six cores turn it on turn it off doesn't really matter this game has some pretty major problems and I have to discuss about it but let's check out some resolutions first so this is native PS2 so 640 by 446 it means 448 and uh, now since I am using interlacing mode there is some screen shaking now this game does target 60 frames per second and it doesn't hit that target at all, but let's show you. So there's the frame rate on the top left corner of the screen. If you see it drop, it means I lost game speed. Now this is, as I said, native PS2, so some screen shaking, as you see, loads of screen shaking. And also the ground is extremely blurry. The whole game is extremely blurry. Yes, there are some graphical glitches I will mention there very shortly. Um, but yeah, this whole game is very blurry at native PS2. Let's go to native 1440p. Now, native 1440p with this interlacing mode, doesn't really look good. It is 1440p. I'm pretty sure that's the native resolution, but the interlacing mode seems to kind of mess with it in a way. It just kind of makes everything look more raw in a way. It's hard to explain, but it doesn't look as good as it should. But it still looks nice and clear compared to native PS2. Like, look at the difference. You got native PS2, native 1440p. There's, um, there's a statue right there. If we have a look at that at native PS2, yeah, hard to see the helmet. If you look at the helmet at native 1440p, looks a lot clearer, a lot easier to see the detail. Now, this game at 16 times the isotropic filtering does kind of work. I've set it to zero times and it does look better than this on the same resolution. But uh, 16 times doesn't look like it's fully working. I guess it looks like more of a four times, eight times. Has nothing to do with the pixel density. I've super sampled, uh, super sampled this game and no, it's still there. So it's a bit of a an isotropic filtering problem. It doesn't seem to be working correctly. Now, see what I mean by how bulky the HUD is? This is really, really in your face. It's really big. That's why I filtered it because of how big it is. I had to filter it because um, the blockiness was uh, just a bit of a distraction. But anyway, so this is um, Warhammer 40,000 Fire Warrior. This is a must avoid on the PCSX2. This game needs a lot of work. This game is very disgustingly broken on the PCSX2. Borderline almost unplayable. I have beaten the game and that was a bit of torture to doing that. But anyway, now as you see there's some graphical glitches. I do have a bit of a theory. Um, I haven't done my, my research, but I'm pretty sure this game is using the exact same engine as Conspiracy Weapons of Mass Destruction, which also ran disgustingly, terribly bad on the PCSX2. And that's a PAL game as well. It runs, runs at 50 frames and it still ran terrible at 50 frames per second. Also, the reason why I think that is because it has the exact same graphical glitches. If you're walking like this, or if you're looking at the ground while walking, you can see there's some artifacting 
I'm not sure if you can fix that, but conspiracy weapons and mass destruction have the exact same problem. So that's why I'm thinking it might may run on the same engine. I could be wrong, but yeah, same graphical glitch. And also this game has a GS bottleneck. It always maxes out to 100%. As you see, oh, it's not quite maxing out, but that's where the problem is. So it's not really much of a CPU problem. Pretty sure this game actually isn't really that CPU intensive. It's just that uh, there's something bottlenecking. The GS is... um bottlenecking the game at 100%. So the game could run well, but it just needs a lot of emulation optimization. That's where, or engine optimization on the PCSX2, that's where this game falls really badly. Now, there are some graphical glitches as well. Like you can see, um, if you look through that, you can see a bit of that orangey, yellowish, uh, you know, uh, effect, I can call it. Not You're not supposed to see that through a box. You can You got that little glitch there on the ground. There's some other glitches. There's a it's a really bad mess on the PCS X2. Like you can see through lights, through light sources, through the walls. So there's a lot of a lot of bad issues on this game. It's as I, as I said, recommend stay away from this game. I'd recommend probably the official PC version or uh, just stay away from the game entirely. But this is that. Let's have another look at native PS2. So as you see, native PS2, it does run just as good on software mode than it does in hardware mode, but it's a bit of a sacrifice compared to resolution to um, to performance. So it's up to you and what you wanna do. Hardware mode seems to be performing worse on this area compared to software mode. Quite surprising because CPU intense, the uh, software mode's more CPU intensive than anything. So yes, but this game does look noticeably good at 1440p. I'll give it a pass for looking kind of decent, but um, let's have a look at the start menu. But yeah, so there you go. There's some HUDs right there looking kind of blurry as well. The text right there. That's not a text. Um, That's the text. That's the button right there. You can see the button HUDs looking a bit soft. Same with the uh, L move as well. Yeah, other than that, um, definitely stay away from this one on the PCSX2 until one day it gets optimized or yeah, whatever it is. But yeah, definitely w recommend staying away. All right, that's about it. See you later.